Hello friends, welcome to Coding Interviews channel. Hope you are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I have created bunch of playlists to cover various categories of problems such as BFS, DFS, dynamic programming and so on. Please check them out. I have uploaded the code for this problem to the GitHub repository. You can get the link from description below this video. Let's jump into today's problem. Swapping nodes in a linked list. You are given the head of the linked list and an integer k. Return the head of the linked list after swapping the values of the kth node from the beginning and the kth node from the end. The list is one indexed. So basically the problem statement is we are given with a linked list and a value k. Okay. And the linked list we are given with the first node, basically the head node of the linked list. And k is denoted as basically the one k starts with one index right that's what it said so essentially what we say is just like how you count from one so one two three four five right so that means this one is the first element in the linked list two is the second element in the linked list three is the third element in the linked list and so on and we are given with the k value right so we are supposed to swap the k from the starting and kth node from the ending those values and then written the linked list right the head of the linked list basically right so if you look at the example one right so the head is basically one two three four five that is the order head is pointing to the linked list uh, node with value one right and k is given as two so now we have to swap the values in the second node from the beginning and second node from the end right so what is the second node from the beginning in example example one obviously the node two and what is the second node from the end of the linked list it is four so now we have to swap those values two and four that is how the second picture basically the second one after swapping it looks like this so four is going to come into the second place and two is going to go to the fourth place so this is the link list that we are going to return so that's the reason why output is one four two sorry one four three two five right so that's how it is going to work simply so let's look at and try to understand more into this problem right so now let's say we have n nodes in the link, link list but we are given the access to only the head node right if we want to determine what is the kth node from the start and what is the kth node from end, there are multiple ways doing it, right? So for example, let's go do it uh, in the first way, right? So the first way is about, okay, count the nodes in linked list, right? So that's, that's the one, right? So first one, we can do count node in the linked list, right? so once we do that right basically what we can essentially do is subtract k from that right subtract k from that simply right so let's call this as n nodes right and to get kth node basically from the beginning kth from beginning this we can get it simply while we are counting the nodes right so that is another optimization we can do it but assume that we have n nodes that is the first pass so let's say this is pass one uh, and get the kth from the beginning it's pass two right and the third step is about kth from end so what is the kth from end will become basically you need to count the k from end right in this particular case there are five nodes right so five nodes and uh, second k is equal to two right second from the end would be what so five minus two plus one right so that would give you the kth node from end right so what is five minus two plus one it's four so that's the node that we so in this particular example right the num node number and node position are matching it so happened that but yeah so we are looking at 
the position the position is fourth right right so this is one way right so that means we have done in three passes so basically we, in the past one we were able to get the nodes count and the second pass we got the case from beginning and third pass we got the case from end and after that we just do as the fourth step swap right so this is what we need to do right but can we do any optimization here yes definitely we can do optimization right so let's call this as approach one right and let's look into the approach two right so let me take this and see if we are able to improve let me copy this all right and paste it and call this as approach two what can we do so in the pass one we are able to do the n right so can we combine pass one and pass two so all it takes is while you are trying to count the n right you can just get the kth from beginning and in that pass one itself right so essentially what we are saying is we get the count of the node and what we are going to do is get this and kth from the beginning this is all we can do it in one pass right and then we have to do the pass two from the kth from the end right so this will be our second step right and the third step would be basically swap so in this particular case also since we know n in this particular case n is equal to 5 5 minus 2 plus 1 so this will still hold good right in order to calculate the kth from n so in this particular case what we essentially did is we combined the step 1 and step 2 into one single uh, pass that way we are down to two pass now can we do even better like not even going to do the second pass can we do the up single pass and get away with the right answer yes so approach three right so in this particular case what we are going to do is we are going to count basically the first pass will remain same right but we are going to add addition additional logic to the first pass itself so now count the nodes in a linked list as n right n is where we are counting so while we count we can do the kth from the beginning also right kth from the beginning also good so now we are going to store this kth from the beginning in some pointer let's say kth begin is equal to kth from beginning right kth from beginning right let's call that and now we need to know what is kth from end right so what we are going to do is since we recorded the kth from beginning in begin that is a temporary variable now we are going to use this kth from beginning also getting updated to advance the pointer so that we will keep the kth from end right kth from end in that itself right so while we count n nodes we will keep the kth from beginning keep updating so that at the end of the linked list right at the end of the linked list kth from beginning will have kth from kth from beginning will point to right will point to kth from end kth from end like that so that is way and then obviously at the end we will have only two steps here swap right that's the third approach we can say so we started with three pass and then split down to two pass and we are down to one pass so now uh, for the code wise i am going to show the code for approaches two and three because approach one is uh, trivial I, I would say because we have to do the three times passing right so let's go look at the approach two and approach three the code for right so let's see so 
let us go to the two pass first and then we will come down to the one pass right. So, we store the k uh, in temporary temp value, value and the head will be stored in temp head and I have a previous pointer that is also pointing to the temp head right. So, while temp is greater than 0 basically we are looking to go past the k values right. So, that, that is where we have the begin pointing to the priv right. So, priv whatever we have collected that we are call, going to call it as begin right. So, that means what? So, we have passed through k value I mean k nodes right. We have passed through k nodes and in this particular point the count is get, getting initialized to k because we have passed through k values or k nodes already and then reassign the previous pointer to head. We, we do not use previous pointer here itself in this next, the next while loop, but we will be doing next. So, now our temp head is pointing to the kth node right. So, k nodes we have passed. So, k, k plus 1 I would say k plus 1th node we have passed and now while temp head is still not null we are going to move further. So, why are we doing this? So, basically in the second pass two pass algorithm right while we calculate the kth from the beginning we are also trying to calculate the n. So, in this case I am calling this n as count here that is it. So, count is initialized to k because we have passed through k values and then we are going through the end of the linked list to find out what is the real number of nodes in that particular linked list. So, once we get through that right. So, we are reassigning the temp head to the head and as uh, remember the count how many nodes we need to essentially pass. So, if you go back and understand right this is the number of nodes minus k plus 1. So, that many number of nodes we need to pass through to get the kth from n right. So, that is what we are doing essentially count minus k plus 1 right. So, while count is greater than 0 we are going through that many uh, nodes from the starting. So, that we can get the kth node from the end. So, once we have the kth node from end we are going to put that in the end right. So, begin is begin is having the kth node from the start and end will have the kth node from the end. After that all you have to do is just swap. So, once you swap right on the head that is it. So, essentially these two while loops are going through them going through the linked list as once if you closely observe right because we are going through, through k nodes here and count minus k nodes here. So, that means these two while loops combinedly going one pass the first pass and this one is second pass that is it. So, this is a two pass algorithm. So, the complexity the time complexity would be order of n still. So, the first time it will be order of n plus second time is also order of n in the worst case right. So, the total complexity will be order of 2 n, but since constants will be ignored in the big O notation it will be order of 2 n. So, now let us go back and understand a single pass algorithm ok. So, it, it will be very very similar right. So, in this particular case again temp is uh, k is uh, assigned in to temp and head is assigned to temp head previous is also temp head while temp is greater than 0 we are going to go through the k nodes first in this particular while we are going to go through the k nodes. So, after going through the k nodes k nodes right. So, we have the kth node from the begin. So, that we are putting into begin right good. So, kth node from the back right so, that we are assigning it to the, the whatever the pre value we have just call we are calling it as kth node from the back. What we said we are going to advance kth node from the back. So, that when the we have exhausted the link list right the kth node from the back will have the kth node from the back in reality right. So, we will be advancing the kth node from the back and we will be advancing the temp head also. So, here we went through the k right k nodes and in this particular way uh, while loop we are going through n minus k node. So, entirely 
if you combine them right two y loops k nodes plus n minus k nodes totally we are going through n nodes that two while loops combiningly we are going through the entire link list only once and this is just a swapping code right i i made it like a little bit little bit verbose so that you can understand and then finally you can return the head of the link list so the time complexity will still remain same right in here so order of n so in the previous case is also order of n and the current case also is order of n so in fact in all three approaches approaches one two and three the time complexity the big goat notation time complexity will be order of n still the only difference is this is approach c is the one pass approach two is two pass approach one is three pass that is the only difference all together right so that's how we are able to solve this problem with order of n time complexity overall so if you have any further questions please post them in the comment section below this video and also I have posted the code to the GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description below this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share among your friends. Please click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about my future videos. Thank you for watching. I will be back with another problem soon. Till then, stay safe and goodbye. Thank you.